What's going on YouTube? I'm E and this is Simply Put Sense. I'm so grateful for you guys watching and I really want to quickly say, please guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, click that button down there and knock that out real quick. Click that and if I don't do a good job, unclick it, you know? So let's get into it. I wanted to share with you guys my top 10 fragrances for the summertime under $35. I don't like calling fragrances cheapies, but these fragrances kind of are cheapies. They're cheapies that will not only enhance your image, not only enhance your fragrance wardrobe, but they're really, really good scents for the summertime that invigorate, refresh, have really decent quality for the price point. My goal is to find fragrances that are way more than the price to own it and can offer you an amazing summer scent. So with that, let's get into it, guys. with my number 10 spot from the house of Versace. Versace, man, oh, fresh. Psych. No, to me it's a very unbalanced fragrance and I just have a hard time smelling that scent throughout the day. However, two other fragrances created by Olivier Crest are really good alternatives to Versace Man Eau Fraiche. And one of those scents has made my top 10, Moschino. Cheap and chic, I love, love. I know what you're thinking. This looks like a woman's bottle. And you wouldn't be lying. It is a woman's bottle. It was marketed to women. But hey, I'm not the idiots at Moschino who decides what fragrances are marketed to what sex. Because to be honest with you guys, this is without question a unisex fragrance. I Love Love is very much an orange type of scent. But it's a candied orange. It reminds me of Orange Skittles, to be honest with you. It's, this is not the most popular fragrance among females, so it's not as if every female you'll walk into would know that you're wearing a female scent. Trust me though, it smells good, and it's definitely unisex. So with that, my number 10, I Love Love by Moschino. My number nine fragrance from the house of Cherry Mugler, Pure Energy. To be honest with you, I don't know why it doesn't get a little bit more love than it does. It's one of those forgotten fragrances within the Amen Flankers. And it's weird, it shouldn't be, because I really appreciate what they were doing in this scent. Like, think about it. The Mugler House created a fresh summer scent with absolutely no citruses. None. It's really interesting for what it is. So everybody hates on Mugler for creating so many flankers that smell like each other. It creates a scent like this, which smells completely different from all the other flankers, and people don't even pay it no mind. I guess people can argue, well, it doesn't smell that good, or it doesn't smell as good as the others. But it's really pleasant, it's really unique, but yet people don't want to deal with it, you know? So hey, again, you can't please everyone, right? My number eight fragrance is from the house of Jill Sander. And guys, this is another female fragrance. And before you X out this video, guys, this is my last female fragrance in this list. But again, these are female fragrances that men can definitely pull off and men should consider for sure. A lot of times these marketing departments in these houses get it wrong. And this is definitely one of them. Jill Sanders Sun is a fragrance made in 1989. And I don't know what it is, but maybe the times have changed. But because of it, it is a fragrance that men can easily wear. It smells a lot like suntan lotion. And men wear suntan lotion, obviously, right? So it's not a fragrance that I think that you can say, oh, that's just for women. It smells like lotion. And a nice lotion smell. It has a tropical leaning smell to it. It kind of reminds me of a very beach-like scent. The weird thing about this fragrance is that it's an oriental that you can wear in the warm weather. It's very pleasant and it's another fragrance that a lot of women that you will run into will never know about, even though it's marketed to them. Joe Sander Sun, my number eight, and it's damn good. My number seven fragrance is from the house of our moth and the fragrance is Shades Blue. Now the three words that I would use to describe Shades Blue, easy, energetic, bleh. And guys, I don't mean bleh like as in eh, bleh, bleh. No, <laughs> I mean bleh as in bleh de Chanel. 
I think this scent is really nice and it smells very refreshing. It lasts a long time. I think this is a fragrance that would get a lot of wear in a collection with a few bottles. So if you're a guy who doesn't have a lot of bottles and you want something that you can wear all year round, that would definitely make a good impression on others, I would definitely consider Shades Blue. This is not the most complex scent in the world, but for what you pay to own it, the value of the scent is extremely high. So I would consider Shades Blue for sure, and it is my number seven. Number six, guys, is from the house of, again, Armoff. And I know what you guys are thinking. Here we go. Armoff is a good house for people who don't want to spend a lot of money for a decent scent. So I would definitely consider this is one of Armoff's best alternative fragrances. This is a scent that's basically an alternative to green Irish tweed. And it is called Tre Nui. It's a little greener than Green Irish Tweed, but like Green Irish Tweed, it's extremely versatile, extremely easy to like, and a really, really nice smelling fragrance. Um, it will definitely get the right type of attention from others. People will enjoy smelling this scent on you, unless you haven't bathed in how many days. <laughs> Train Wee perhaps might be probably the best of all of the Green Irish Tweed smelling alternatives. Uh, that you can purchase. I think this scent is really doing it well. Absolutely blows cool water out the frame. Guys, consider this. Bentley Azure. Bentley Azure, guys, is a very fresh fragrance. It reminds me a lot of a sophisticated version of Mont Blanc's Legend Intense. It smells exactly like Mont Blanc's Legend Intense, except that Mont Blanc's Legend Intense is a little bit more sweet. This fragrance is lacking in that sweetness, but it's a lot more soapy, in my opinion. It has like a soapiness to it that Mont Blanc's Legend Intense doesn't have. It's a lot more sophisticated and I think mature than Legend Intense is. So it's a fragrance that I think works perfectly for the office. It's a fragrance that works really well for summer daytime situations, and I would highly consider it. So guys, my number five fragrance, Bentley Azure. By the way, this is a fragrance that performs very well also. So you'll get about seven to eight hours out of this summer fragrance, which is very, very rare for summer designer scents. Bentley Azure, guys, nice. Number four is from the house of Hannah Mori, and it is called HM. HM is a gourmand. Yes, guys, it's a gourmand. It has a lemony meringue pie type of vibe going on, but it's also a lot of other things too. It's very rare to find a summertime gourmand scent that's actually not too cloying. This one is it, and guys, I definitely would suggest the EDT. The EDP is a little bit too heavy on the lemon. The EDP I would consider more for cooler weather. The EDT is absolutely beautiful for the summer, guys. The chocolate base of this fragrance is very pleasant in my opinion. Works beautifully with the lemon. Be careful though, because that EDP is a savage. I gotta tell you real quick, my top three guys are absolute bangers. My number three fragrance is by the house of Rasasi, and it is called Entiba. Entiba, guys, is a boozy, playful, fun version of Silver Mountain Water, but instead of that citrus, it's a lot more sweet and berryful. So it's got a lot of sweet berries and black currant as opposed to the citrusy heavy zestiness of silver mountain water this is a more modern fun take of silver mountain water it's absolutely beautiful guys it's boozy too so but it's boozy in a wine a red wine type of way it's not like gin or rum but it smells amazing the sweetness can throw some people off it's not what you would expect when people say it smells like Silver Mountain Water because Silver Mountain Water is nowhere near this sweet. When I tell you guys this is one of the best night out options you can wear for the summertime and practically every season because this is very versatile. But for summertime night out situations, I will be rocking Antiba hard. The price point, the performance, the versatility, I just think it's 
exceeding, it's well exceeding the price to own it and definitely deserves to be in the top three. My number two fragrance is from the house of Al Haramein. Excellent. It's excellent. <laughs> now with a name like excellent, you would expect a lot, right? Well guys, expect a lot. Because when you smell this scent, it will blow your minds. It's a rose fragrance that you can wear in the heat. Very few rose fragrances are wearable when it's too hot. This is a scent that is just so beautiful though. And it's very complex. And the thing about it is the blend of this fragrance is well done. They hit a home run when they made excellent. They named it exactly what it is, guys. This is an excellent fragrance and well, well worthy of my number two spot on this list. So guys, Al Haramain's excellent. You gotta try it. This is a rose scent that has an aquatic vibe. A rose aquatic fragrance. I mean, wow, what the hell? So completely unlike anything I've smelled before. And my number one fragrance, under $35 for the summertime, guys, is a masterpiece, in my opinion. Without question, a masterpiece, in my opinion. This scent to me is hands down not only one of the best fragrances under $35 you can purchase, period, but it's, in my opinion, one of the best fragrances that you can purchase under $100 in my opinion, period. Without further ado, the fragrance I'm talking about, guys, is Galan's Om Loboise. Oh. Guys, when I tell you Loboise is one of the best fragrances for the summertime a man can purchase, it really is. I mean, I dare anybody to come up with a better quality summer fragrance under $50 challenge. And of course, this is all subjective. I mean, this is all just opinion stuff, right? It's just absolutely beautiful. It's grassy, it's classy, but guys, I don't let that stop me. I wear this with jeans and a t-shirt and it works perfectly well for me. To be honest with you guys, it's almost crazy that you can get this fragrance for under $100. That's just my opinion. I don't know what they're doing at Girl Land. They're just giving shit away. This could arguably be number one on any list in the summer period. Like, it doesn't matter what the price point. This fragrance is a titan among its genre, without question. So guys, I wanna thank you so much for hanging in there with this video, my top 10 fragrances for the summertime under $35. What top three fragrances will you be wearing hard this summer? I'm really curious. I, I would love to know. Please comment down below, please like this video, and please subscribe to this. I'm E, and this is Simply Put Sense, and I'm Simply O-U-T.